Wood continues to be the most popular choice of building material in North America, but a few things to know about choosing wood. Number one, all wood expands and contracts with the fluctuating humidity in the air in a very inconsistent and unpredictable way. Some posts and pieces will crack, and although that's not typically a structural concern, many people find this unattractive and unsettling. Then, some boards will shrink by half an inch, while other boards don't shrink at all. These fluctuations start on the day of construction and continue, to a lesser degree, for the rest of the life of your wood. For many, these random imperfections are what help to create the charm of natural wood. But, others quickly come to regret that they didn't more seriously consider other, more perfect choices like iron or vinyl. Number two. For most fence materials, you simply need to choose a color. But when choosing wood, it is very important that you take the time to understand the type and grade of wood that you're choosing. You can save money with a lesser grade, but there's a trade-off with the appearance of the wood. Whatever you decide, we suggest you ask lots of questions and that you know what you're buying. Number three, while some homeowners enjoy the old weathered look, many don't. If you're looking for a consistent color over the years, make sure to budget time and money for staining and restaining. While decks need to be stained annually, fences can generally get away with recoating every five years, totally depending on your tastes. Number four, in the world of fence or in the world of bylaw inspectors, glass, aluminum, iron, or lattice toppers are all considered in the total height of the fence. So regardless of how you wanna argue with the city inspector, six foot high boards with one foot lattice topper means the seven foot high fence, always. Number five, Homeowners are often confused by proper fasteners. In the end, most of our wood fences and gates designs are held together with spiral galvanized nails. If you want something different, let us know, but be prepared to argue just a little bit with your sales representative. One of the benefits of over 40 years of specialization is that we've had plenty of time to study things like the benefits of nails versus screws. Number six, most of the budget numbers you'll see posted for each of the wood fence designs are assuming a six foot high, non-stained, pressure treated fence that steps with the grade of the land. Upgrading to cedar is generally going to add about $10 a foot more. And this might be a good time to point out that many homeowners choose pressure treated because it has the lowest cost, but pressure treated is also the type of wood that really needs staining the most. Staining on the day of construction should help reduce the amount of twisting and cracking that comes naturally with pressure treated lumber. Number seven. Beyond the choice of post caps and whether or not to have the fence pre-stained, by far the biggest concern for families with pets is the gaps that show up underneath their fence. Whenever we're talking fence, always ask about the dog or pool options that are available with each particular style. And while we're talking about pool options, you'll notice none of our designs come with a standard mid-rail, regardless of the height of the fence. This doesn't mean you shouldn't consider an upgrade with a seven foot high pressure treated fence, but because of how it might affect your property value and or your neighbor's ability to install a swimming pool, we just do not include them in any of our designs. And number eight, generally a wood fence will last about 15 years, although it's always possible you might be someone who'd want to change a post or a board in the first year or two. Wood is the only material we offer with no warranty. As the temperature changes throughout the day, so does your wood. It's always wise to add in costs of future repairs and replacement when you're calculating the real cost of choosing wood, even though that replacement may not be for a few years down the road. Wood makes for a beautiful backyard, there's no doubt about it, but ask the questions or do the research yourself before you buy so that there are no surprises. We believe an informed customer is a happy customer.